What is up guys, Incente here again, and I wanted to share with you a really interesting sequence um, or tech skill that I learned on stream last week, uh, talking over a game with one of my friends. <clears throat> so let's say you have a fairly standard opening and white pincers here, and black uh, decides that he is going to counter pincer here, attempting to kind of build this up. What would you do as white to respond to this? You can take some time, pause the video, just kind of think about it. Well, if you were anything like me last week, you immediately thought of this move. Because, well, if you're a beginner, you're going to learn two tech skills today, not just one. Um, a little bit more advanced players know that if they one space jump here, black can actually connect underneath with this move, right? White can go here, black goes here, threatening to capture the white stone, so white has to Atari, but now black has this Atari, white takes, and then black can either um, start a co, or just uh, do this and then like see if white wants to activate this stone at all, which you probably wouldn't right away. So if we look at that again, the one space jump, this little weakness here, allows black to completely, no matter what white does, surround, um, surround white. I learned that sort of as like a SDK, and then I was and then for the rest of like my life until now, I only did this because this stops that from happening. You can't play that sequence if there's the diagonal. But this has its own set of problems. Um, unless you really want to kill this, it's usually not good to play the diagonal, uh, according to my friend. Um, the reason is this is very difficult to kill, especially because you have this attach. This attachment is sort of the tech skill I want to show you guys, and it's a really, really cool move. Because of white hanes, black has the double hane. And here is the trap. It's not really a trap, um, but this is a mistake. If white did this, it would be a huge mistake. So if white plays this and then plays this Atari, that's what I did in the game, and I'm going to show you what happened to me. So black defended. I kind of had no choice but to make this Atari. Black atari Uh I think I took... Black code, I didn't want to co. Black Atari here. Black Atari here. Black Atari here. And now look at what happened. Look at what happened to these stones. <laughs> They're completely cut off uh, from each other, and black could probably even push one more time. Um, white has to go again, and then you know, black might even just be able to kill if he wants right now. Um, the forcing moves that black gets from this sequence, so starting with just forcing white to capture this, Atari, even if white does this, you can still Atari, 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 and then, you know, extend out in some way um, to try to capture those stones. In the end case, these two stones are extremely weak. This black wall is really thick, um, and it's not going to be in trouble anytime soon. And black, even if black doesn't capture these, white black will be able to chase these stones up this direction and build this left area while doing so. So if we take it back to here, this, this is not what you want to do. If you're white, you can just play this, and then black kind of makes shape and then black lives fairly comfortably, and then white has sente to do something else. Um, but even so, this was a relatively... White kind of just got sente out of it and didn't really attack anything. So some of your other options to respond to this move is, is the one space jump, which we know that you can do this, can let um, black can connect under, but if we keep 
black low on the second line, we can build up a lot of influence here. And, you know, blacks, I should probably be over here. Um, and, and blacks kind of points really aren't doing all that much. Um, this is like six points and black, white should be able to make much more profit on the outside of the board, but the thickness white gets by keeping black on the second line. So just letting black connect is sometimes fine. Uh, you don't need to keep black from connecting. Um, it wouldn't be wise to just let black cut through your shape like this, that wouldn't be probably the best on this board. Um, but just letting him connect is like not bad. The other thing you can do is you can kick and start to fight. And then you get in kind of a running battle here, which I like. I like this a lot um, personally because we can sort of entertain ideas of attacking this stone now, breaking into Black's Moyo. Um, the trade-off, of course, is um, black has the opportunity to kind of um, keep white from developing the left once black gets out. So it's on your direction of play skills, depending on if you want to start this fight or not. Uh, you can even just solidly defend the corner. Again, it's kind of on black to figure out what he wants to do with his life right now, because um, black is still split. I personally am a fan of this. This, is, this looks awesome for me if I'm playing white because I really like like attacking things, so this is fun. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys this tech skill and show you guys there are way more options than we would think uh, when faced with this counter pincer. We can kick, we can one space jump and keep them low, um, but if you're gonna diagonal, just be aware that black can live very comfortably with this double Hane. And if black does double Hane, do not attempt to Atari ever. Don't do it. Um, if even white does this, right, uh, it's still not really that great because, like, black can threaten to connect under, and if white stops that, then there's just shape problems everywhere. White's three stones are captured. Um, even if black just didn't even feel like doing that, um, black could just live in the corner absolutely fine. So there's very, is very little white can do to keep black from living um, if he activates this attach <clears throat> uh, on getting counter pincered. So if, if he's going to live anyway, you can jump out, you can even smother here, right? So kind of force black to live in a more uh, intense kind of situation. And eh, I think I messed that up. And then here. And then, you know, white just gets more thickness out of the deal. So <clears throat> you've got options. Explore around with some of the variations uh, and see what your ideas are. They don't always have to be the diagonal. In fact, a lot of times you don't, you shouldn't play the diagonal. Um, so just want to share this text go with you guys. Uh, the attach when getting counter pincered is a really great way to just live. Or if your opponent makes a mistake, to completely separate his pincering stones and go on the offensive. So hope you guys enjoyed this tech skill. Explore more, let me know what you think in the comments below, and hopefully I will see you guys on stream.